after this video lesson, you are expected to use Gibbs free energy to determine the direction of a reaction. A criterion for spontaneity that applies only the system in the Gibbs free energy or simply free energy, it combines enthalpy and entropy with the expression G is equal to H minus Ts. The free energy change, or delta G, is a measure of spontaneity of a process and of the amount of energy that can be obtained from it. Just like other thermodynamic state properties, delta G is determined from the difference in values of two different states. Delta G is equal to G final minus G initial. By using the change in enthalpy and the change in entropy at constant temperature, we have the equation delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. The sign of delta G is used as the basis to determine whether the process is spontaneous. If delta G is negative, the process is spontaneous. If delta G is positive, the process is non-spontaneous. And if the delta G is zero, the process is in equilibrium. Just like in standard entropy, be mindful of the states of a particular element or compound. For example, the standard free energies of formation of water in gaseous state differ from standard free energies of formation of water in liquid state, which are negative 228.60 kJ per mole and negative 237.19 kJ per mole, respectively. Just like other thermodynamic functions, the energy chains for the reaction can be calculated. One way is by the use of standard free energy of formation in the equation through the formula summation products subtracted by summation reactions. The standard free energy of formation of an element in its most stable form is zero. Another way of determining change in free energy of the reaction is by using the Gibbs equation. In this case, we use other thermodynamic properties of the system. Change in free energy is equal to change in enthalpy subtracted by temperature multiplied by change in entropy. Let's do mathematical calculations on free energy change. The problem is, determine the free energy change of the following reaction using A, summation free energy, and B, Gibbs equation, and C, is the reaction is continuous at 25 degrees Celsius, the reaction is TO gas plus H2O gas yield CO2 gas plus H2 gas. The standard enthalpy of formation of CO is negative 110.5 kJ per mole. For H2O, it is negative 241.83 kJ per mole. For CO2, it is negative 393.5 kJ per mole. And for hydrogen, it is zero. The standard absolute entropy of CO is positive 197.5 Joule per mole Kelvin. H2O is 188.72 Joule per mole Kelvin. For CO2, it is 213.7 Joule per mole Kelvin. And for hydrogen, it is 130.6 Joule per mole Kelvin. And the standard free energy of formation of CO is negative 137.2 kJ per mole. For H2O, it is negative 228.6 kJ per mole. For CO2, it is negative 394.4 kJ per mole. And for hydrogen, it is zero. Using summation of change in free energy, which is summation products, 
minus summation reactants, the change in the free energy of the reaction is equal to 1 multiplied by the free energy of CO2 plus 1 multiplied by the free energy of H2 minus 1 multiplied by the free energy of CO plus 1 multiplied by the free energy of H2O. By substituting the values and canceling all mole units, we get negative 28.6 kilojoule as the free energy change of the reaction. For letter B using the Gibbs equation, we have to calculate first the enthalpy change and the entropy change of the reaction. Applying the same procedure as what we did in computing free energy change using summation formula, by substituting the values and canceling all mole units, we get negative 41 kilojoule as the enthalpy change. For the entropy change of the reaction, substituting the values and canceling all mole units using summation formula, we get negative 42 joule per Kelvin. Finally, we can now use Gibbs equation which is equal to enthalpy change subtracted by temperature multiplied by change in entropy. Substituting the values and considering Kelvin units, we get negative 28 kilojoule. 298 Kelvin is derived from converting 25 degrees Celsius to Kelvin and negative 0.042 kilojoule per Kelvin is derived from converting negative 42 joule to kilojoule by dividing 1000 joules. For letter C, since the change in free energy of the reaction is negative at 298 Kelvin, the reaction is spontaneous. Now it's your turn to solve the following problem. I hope you have learned a lot from this video lesson. Goodbye!